Good afternoon and welcome to the Midday News here on CNC3 and the TBC Radio Network. I'm Bavita Kapolchan. Thank you so much for joining us. Top of the news at this time. PC Sydney Roberts will appear virtually before a Port of Spain magistrate today after being charged with the murder of Simeon and Sanaya Lassie at Court's megastore. The 34-year-old, who was last attached to the Homicide Bureau of Investigations, has been charged with two counts of murder and one count of shooting with intent to do grievous bodily harm. The instruction to charge Roberts was issued by the Director of Public Prosecutions, Roger Gaspard, on Christmas Day. Roberts was arrested four days after the incident, which left Simeon and his sister Sanaya dead, and sent Simeon's wife, Carrie Ann Monroe, and family friend Nathan Peer to hospital. Now to this, the National Insurance Board of Trinidad and Tobago is reporting a cyber attack which occurred on Boxing Day. In a statement posted to its social media pages, NIBTT said all of its offices will be closed for the remainder of the week as a result of the incident. The company said all steps are being taken to protect its data integrity and technology hardware. NIBTT added that it has reported the incident to the Trinidad and Tobago Cyber Security Incident Response Team under the Minister of National Security, and it is also working with that team to what a resolution. Well, head of Tobago Police, ACP Collis Hazel, says social media platforms are allowing gang members to expand their influence. Hazel, who recently announced the establishment of a specialized gang unit to tackle murders and gang violence on the island, stated that gang members have been widening their connections to coordinate criminal activities. Hazel noted there's a difference between gang culture on both islands, with social media being a major factor. However, what you do have is an infiltration utilizing the, the whole idea of social media, where people are all over in their gang culture and utilizing social media in order to do their work. So literally, we may not have people on the island here that are gang members in this large joes, but when they want their work to be done, they find ways in terms of communicating with their partners. ACB Hazel also defended the timeliness of the gang unit on the island, noting that work had been ongoing to train and develop officers over a period of time. Meanwhile, the head of one business chamber is attributing reduced commerce activity over the Christmas period to the impending increase in financial demands next year. Mukesh Ramsing, head of the Coover Point Leases Chamber, stated that business owners have reported shifting spending patterns this year. He further suggested that the public have started adjusting their spending patterns as a buffer for what is to come. Overall, um, mostly the groceries were packed. People were looking for the necessities and people were looking for bargains or cheaper items because of that disposable income now uh, is less and people were looking for, uh, waiting to see what is taking place with the rise in electricity rates and property tax. So I think the spending habits in the past have changed. And Meanwhile, Ram Singh called for further government intervention to assist with the ease of doing business in the new year. Animal activists continue to express a growing concern over the effects of fireworks which it have on animals. Now, representative at Animal Welfare Network Patricia Green contended that people continue to turn a blind eye on just how the loud noises and bright lights associated with fireworks lead to additional stress, injuries and even deaths of animals. Green's comment comes ahead of the anticipated increase in the use of pyrotechnics over the celebratory period. She's encouraging pet and livestock owners to continue taking the necessary steps to ensure the animals are not harmed by the sudden loud noises. For her, leaving them unattended is definitely not an option. Do not chain an, a dog up in the yard and leave it to fend for itself because it, we have, in past years, had occasional reports of dogs strangling themselves, trying to jump over a fence and, you know, the chain on which they were held well, literally strangling them. It's very sad. We get a few sad stories every year. It's always best, and I, I really think the best outcome is to have somebody in the home with the animals. 
Just last week, Attorney General Reginald Amo told CNC3 News that a cabinet notice before a subcommittee, which is tasked with implementing government policy on the use of fireworks by the public. AG Amo added that legislation will seek to regulate the industry from imports to storage to handling and use. Meanwhile, parents of children with special needs have expressed concern with what they say is the climbing cost of products needed to care for them. During a hamper collection ceremony hosted by Doc, the Dr. Glenn Ramadas Singh Foundation, parents explain the financial challenges they have been facing. They claim that government's disability grant was barely enough to purchase resources, especially for children with cerebral palsy. Ramadas Singh, a former minister of the people, encouraged the public to continue lending assistance to vulnerable groups. A differently abled adult is an adult and they can use their brain, they can use their skills, their strength in some way or leverage themselves for economic opportunities. But a child that is differently abled is a vulnerable, um, is a person that needs help, that needs care, that needs special help, special intervention. And those are the groups that we are supposed to be paying special attention and pumping resources to meet them so that we have true social equity in the society. Ramadas Singh also called on the government to provide special maintenance grants to people with cerebral palsy, noting that they require extensive care. It's time for a commercial break. We'll be right back. But the bumper traffic I in here, and I will definitely be late because I still have to pass by the ATM to get cash for you. So, say, no, 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 don't put you on that. You can pay with NCash, so just come straight here. Yeah. NCash is a mobile wallet that gives users the convenience of making digital payments. You can use NCash with any local debit card or credit card to pay anyone and or any business on NCash no matter who they bank with. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. Download the app and create your wallet today. We're back and we came straight to Royal Castle to pick up some delicious food. We got a queen bucket, a king bucket, some royal wings, a family meal, a few combos, some extra sides, a rotisserie chicken, and a snack box. Oh, and that delicious honey mustard sauce, it's really lashing. <laughs> Rudolph, do you think we should get some for Mrs. Claus and the elves too? <laughs> Happy holidays from Royal Castle. Things don't always go as expected. Be ready with Trinry for auto, home, business and group life. Call us at 800 Trin or visit trinry.com today. Huge insurance premium. Pay your premiums bit by bit with FlexiPay from Trinry. For more manageable auto, home and commercial insurance payments, call us at 800 Trin or visit trinry.com today. Trinry, premier insurance coverage for less. The biggest Christmas sale is at Seaview Optical. Get an amazing 60% off designer frames. Also, get 40% off prescription lenses. Plus, you get a free pair of Polaroid sunglasses on selected purchases. See us today at Seaview Optical, affordable eye care for everyone. It was a roller coaster year, both home and abroad. Top of the news tonight, flight cancellations by Caribbean Airlines have so far cost the state carrier millions of dollars. What is happening in Tobago at this very hour is persecution. It was a year marked by bullets. Tragedy in Guanapo tonight as four young people are executed while asleep. Costly breaches and violence. It is about local government reform. Like them up. Join us for the year in review, breaches, bullets and ballots, Sunday, December 31st at 8pm on CNC3. In last night's NBA, the Detroit Pistons made NBA history as they became the league's first team to lose 27 straight games in a season. They fell 118-112 to the Brooklyn Nets at the Little Caesars Arena. Pistons point guard Cade Cunningham scored a game high of 41 points, 9 rebounds and 5 assists, but it was not enough for a one-time victory. Meanwhile, Nets forward and Cameron Johnson scored 24. That's it for sport. It's back to break.
Wondering where you're getting money to spend this Christmas? PECU welcomes both new and existing members to take advantage of our unsecured Christmas loans up to $20,000. Or get that showroom or roll-on roll-off vehicle with only 10% down payment. Call us at 623-5561, 624-3280 or WhatsApp 294-1122 for more information. Terms and conditions and normal lending criteria applies. PECU Credit Union, where your needs are up. Concern. Nature's Ways Alive Kids Gummies are multivitamin gummies meant to support the development of children's bodies like their bones, muscles, joints, brain, heart, and also their immune health. Choose Alive Kids Gummies by Nature's Way because they deserve it. The biggest Christmas sale is at Seaview Optical. Get an amazing 60% off designer frames. Also, get 40% off prescription lenses. Plus, you get a free pair of Polaroid sunglasses on selected purchases. See us today at Seaview Optical of Portable eye care for everyone. Backed by public demand, PRW Tech Sale has been extended until the 23rd of December. Call us at 285 9779. Household items, toys from $5. Lighted Christmas tree, $600. Perfumes now, $65. Chandelier from $600. Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 5 at low prices. Smart TVs from $1,688. Check us out for printers, tablets, laptops, and much more. You exercising to get fit and healthy, going to the rivers and beaches to spend time with the family, yet you leave any place dotty dotty. Whether it's Chancellor, Buko, the Savannah, or one of the streets by we, let us reduce, reuse, and recycle and clean up the country. No matter your age or gender, everyone can be an earth defender. Get into green with swim call. The letter of the day is K. K is for keeper, like Nicholas Puran. No, I K is for cans. So the letter P is for? P is for Puran, boy. P is for porn? No, 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 no. P is for poultry. Cans, poultry, and meats limited. Tell you what we talking about here. What are you doing with here, boy? Check out Cans, Poultry, and Meats Limited at their eight convenient locations nationwide. And look out for their weekly specials. Bermuda's National Security Ministry says it is investigating circumstances that forced a UK-bound flight to divert to the island with almost a dozen injured people on board on Christmas Eve. In a statement, the ministry said the flight, which was en route from Barbados to Manchester, experienced severe turbulence, necessitating an emergency landing at Isle of Wight International Airport. They confirmed that emergency services took 11 people to hospital and that nine had been released after treatment. The flight was transporting 220 five passengers and 13 crew members. At least 10 people, including a nine-year-old girl, have died in eastern Australia during severe thunderstorms on Christmas and Boxing Day. Most of the deaths were in the state of Queensland, where tens of thousands of people are still without power. Further thunderstorms have been forecast, but conditions are expected to improve over the next day. Nine-year-old Mia Holland McGormick's body was found in a flooded storm drain after she went missing. It's now time for a look at today's weather forecast. Predominantly sunny conditions are expected despite the low chance of a brief isolated shower. Seas are slight to moderate with waves reaching up to 1.5 meters in open waters and below 1 meter in sheltered areas. The forecast maximum temperature is 32 degrees Celsius in both islands. Well, thank you so much for joining us for a look at the day's developments so far. We'll have these stories and so much more coming up for you in a major newscast at 7 p.m. today. In the meantime, have a great day. CNN.